So now let's take a look at some of the tools of the trade. How do we produce our ads? How do we take our ads from the written word to an actual finished completed video? And how do how do we, you know, how do we do that? Well, I'm gonna show you guys how you can create a million dollar studio for less than 350 bucks. You ready? Let's take a look. So shooting ads and on, on a shoestring budget. Let's look at some of the equipment that we will use, okay? Well, look at this, guys. Do you have one of these? It's very, very likely that you have one of these. It's a smartphone, okay? I've got an iPhone 11 or 12, I don't know. Um, I, I've got an iPhone, okay? Now think about this, 10 years ago, if you wanted to get like some of these, we call it production quality. You, haven't, oh, some, you know, if a video looks really good and it's just sizzling, you know, like, oh, that's got high production quality. Oh, it just looks good. You know, lots of good camera movements. You got some aerial footage over an action sequence. You're like, oh man, that's, that's amazing. That's, that's got some good production quality. Okay, 10 years ago, if you wanted, you know, an aerial scene, you know, an aerial view of an action scene, you know, that cost you 100 to a million dollars. I mean, really, I'm not joking. It'll cost you 100 to a million dollars to get that scene. You'd have to get, you know, a guy with a camera hanging off the side of a helicopter, and you have to do multiple, multiple, multiple takes, and it's gonna cost a fortune, right, to be able to do that. Now, to do that, I go buy a $1,000 drone at Walmart, and I can do that all day, every day. Anyone can do it, right? You don't have to have a pilot, you don't have to have a pilot's license, you don't have to have a helicopter, you don't have to have a man with a camera, you don't have to do any of that. Like, you took something that would, like would cost $100,000, now you can do it over and over and over again for basically nothing, right? Well, 10 years ago, you know, I remember you'd pay $1,000 for a camera and it'd be shooting in like standard definition, which is, I think, 720 by 480. Okay, now your, your phone will shoot in 4K, which is, you know, way more than standard definition, obviously. I don't know what the exact numbers are, but it's way more, right? Your smartphone. It's a movie studio in your pocket, okay? Most smartphones, if you got a new Samsung or a Google Pixel or an iPhone, like look, the video quality here, it's, it's way better than the best cameras we had 10 years ago. Fact, okay? They've got, it's just, yeah, this is all you need. This is all you need, okay? A lot of people say, well, I don't wanna do YouTube because I don't have the production equipment. You don't need the production equipment, okay? This is all you need, all you need is a phone, okay? Smartphone with HD video capability, you wanna do HD. The next thing that you would like to have is what's called a ring light, okay? So if you're shooting kind of a standard ad where it's like you, you're a talking person, um, just talking to the camera, you know, just use your phone, get one of these ring lights, they're great. The reason why you want a ring light is because it evenly, like it lights your face evenly. The camera, as you can see here, um, in this case, it's a, I thought that was a phone, but it's not a phone, it's just a small camera, but the camera sits inside the ring light, okay? It's shooting at you, and this ring light evenly wraps around the camera and evenly lights the subject here. You can buy these very cheaply on Amazon for 50 to 150 bucks. And the thing too, it's got a little mount here for the camera and it comes with a tripod, which is great, right? This is really all you need. If you want additional lights, you can get those as, as well. But for most cases, like, just get the ring light, cheap. So now you've got a ring light, you paid 50 bucks for it. Um, maybe you thought you, you treat, treated yourself and you know, you splurged a bit and got a little bit better one, you paid 150 bucks for it, whatever, you know? You got your phone, 150 bucks, that's all you've got invested in the studio. And here's the thing, guys, we have scaled campaigns to $200,000, $300,000 a month um, on just, on, like, on ads, on, you know, using video ads shot on an iPhone with no lighting. With no lighting, no audio, and just it looked like crap. It looked like you just handed your, your Uncle Joe a camera, and he just like, you know, it was shaky. It just, it, you know, again, that matters less than how good your copy is. That matters less. That's a fact. So, but the better you can do it, the better you, the better you can do it, the better you should do it. If you have the capabilities of, of doing better, then you should. But, you know, you shouldn't let not having the equipment keep you from, from actually pursuing what it is that you want to pursue. The next thing is amazing. It's called the Big View Smartphone Teleprompter app. It costs $9.99 a month on Google Play or Apple, um, or the Apple App Store. And this is amazing because 
Let's go back to this. So let's say that you have your subject. Let's say this is you here. You've got your ring light here. You've got your camera here. Okay, what you're, what you're doing here is you're using the front of your phone. You're using the camera, the front facing camera on your phone to basically record you. You got the ring light here, so you're well lit. Okay, your face is well lit, you're well lit. And then you load your script into the teleprompter and, or into this app. And basically, you don't have to remember anything. You, you basically read along like this, the, you'll, you'll look at the camera here. See, it's cl the, the, the text is actually closer to the front facing camera. And this will continue to scroll up as you read it. So you don't have to remember anything. You, you just, you just you, you scroll up. It, this will scroll up as you read. It can be a little bit challenging. It takes some practice because not, usually the pace this scrolls up um, will either be too fast or too slow. Um, so it may take practice to get used to it, but once you, once you practice it, once you get used to it, it's simple. You won't have any issues, um, but that's amazing. So you don't have to remember anything. Again, you're well lit here using the front facing camera. That's an HD, which is great. And you know, you've turned your phone into a teleprompter. Now, another thing that I would highly recommend is getting a microphone for your phone, for your phone camera. You don't have to do that. You know, I recommend, you know, you don't want your camera phone too far away. Um, I would say maybe like arm's length right here. If you had a tripod, you know, keep it about right here. Um, because if it's too far away, the microphone, you know, audio is very important. Audio is more important than the video quality because people have to hear what you're saying. They have to hear what you're saying. If they can't hear it, then nothing else matters, right? So the, again, the messaging is the most important. And so if they can hear what you're saying, it doesn't matter. So if it's too far away, you know, you're not going to get good audio. About arm's length is good audio. So if you're sitting down here and you're looking at your teleprompter app, um, this is pretty good. Um, if you can get one of these microphones here, this is a Shure MVA8 microphone. It's $149 on Amazon. Um, literally, it doesn't matter. You know, you just find the connector that connects with your phone. But then you have that kind of mic pointing directly at your mouth, and it's going to pick up even better audio. And you can actually afford to put it a little bit farther away. Not too much farther, but a little bit farther away, and you're going to have good audio. Another thing I would recommend is getting one of these newer professional tripods. We have, I mean, I'm shooting on one right now. There's one right there, there's one right there, there's one right there. They're 110 bucks on, on Amazon. And the reason why, you know, tripods can go anywhere from 20 to thousand, $20 to thousand dollars, right? And I think, you know, you're looking at how, like, how sturdy the tripod is, how, how heavy of a camera it can take. But what you really want is you want that, that fluid, you know, you want a nice fluid head. And if you get like the twenty dollar tripods, at, uh, tri I'm sorry. If you get one like a twenty dollar tripod at Walmart or any anywhere else, um, and you're trying to like pan or tilt, it's going to be very jaggedy. You know, it's like jaggedy. And you know, if you want something smooth, you got to get a nice, uh, nice tripod with a nice fluid head that way you get nice smooth movements, right? So this one, if you're just using your phone, you don't want a heavy, heavy camera on this because it wouldn't do it. But if you're using your phone or like a light camera, um, this is a, a bang up job. What I like about this is the quick release plate. So, you know, we've got a tripod over here and we got a tripod right here. I'm basically riffing as I'm going through this presentation, but if I'm looking off a teleprompter, like I want to be able to easily take it off, you know, take the camera off this without having to unscrew anything and put it on the other tripod. Um, it just it speeds up the process, okay? So you got the quick release, pl uh, release plate, which is great, um, because you can take it from this tripod and you can put it on the other tripods. Um, you get this hydraulic uh, clamping ball head, which is great. So if you're outside and you're shooting or the, what, for whatever reason, like the tripod's never, never, ever, like, exact, you know, perfectly level, right? But with this, clamping ball head you can unscrew that and then there's like a little leveler here and you want to try to get that little bubble in front of uh, inside this little red circle here and that would get the camera so even if you're like on on level land um, if you're shooting outside it's never level um, you can get you can get the camera level by unclamping this getting it level and then tightening it back up right also it's got retractable sp uh, spiked feet which is great so if you're indoors you can uh, you can kind of roll this down um, and if you're outside, you, you need it to have, you know, some grip to, to the outdoors, you can uh, use the spiked feet to kind of grip the ground, grip the earth, right? 110 bucks on Amazon. That's all you need. Uh, also, you're going to need a phone tripod mount. Um, we recommend the Cobra Tech Metal cell phone tripod mount for $29.99 on Amazon. 
The reason why, look, any, look this, they have those for seven bucks. You can get these very cheap. You just put it on your tripod and then you pull this down, you put your phone there and it mounts your phone to your tripod. But the reason why is because it has this cold shoe mount and if you end up getting this microphone, you gotta find a way to be able to mount this to the phone mount right here, see? So you wanna make sure, you know, if you didn't have that, you wouldn't be able to mount that to it. So wh like, where would you put it? You'd have to like tape it to your tripod or something, and then it wouldn't be facing you, facing your mouth, it'd be facing some other direction, the audio wouldn't be that clear. So, you know, spend a little bit more extra money and get the, get the one with the cold shoe mount. $29.99, cheap. So another thing I wanna talk about is lighting. It's so important to have good lighting. Now, we don't ever do this, okay? But ideally, ideally, in a perfect world, you'd use a basic three-point lighting technique, okay? So we have our subject here, okay? We have our camera facing our subject. What we're gonna have here is we're gonna have a key light that basically lights the subject. So we have a key light that lights the subject, and it's gonna be a stronger powered light um, that's gonna light most of them um, and making sure that they're exposed properly. A lot of times when we're running, you know, very quickly and we're just trying to, you know, crank things out very quickly, um, that's all we have is just, just one light, just light the, light the person and go, right? But then your next light would be what's called a fill light. And basically you want this light here to be lighting the subject and you want it to be a little bit brighter. And of course, what you're gonna have is if it's real bright here, then you're gonna have harsh shadows on this side, okay? Harsh shadows on this side. So what you wanna do is you want another light over there, or right here, right, lighting the subject, but you don't want it as strong as this light because you want some, some type of, um, what's it called when you do your makeup and it's like you're, like you're trying to get the contour. <laughs> you want some con contouration, right? You want, it to, you want some type of contour here, right? Um, that way you're not just like overtly lit. It just kind of shapes the lighting and just makes it look more visually appealing, right? So just enough to, just to make sure that those shadows, so the, so the light side would be highlights and then this would be your shadows. You just want those shadows um, so that they're not too dark and, and you get some good, nice con uh, contour. Um, the backlight, the great thing about the backlight is you want a backlight, and, and again, that's not very bright either. It's, actu it's actually dimmer than your fill light. But you want that shining up kind of above your head a little bit. And the reason why you do that is so that it kind of separates you from your background. Okay, that way it doesn't look like you're right up against something and just makes, it makes things look, look a little bit more professional. Uh, again, you don't have to do that. Ideally you would, but you don't have to do that. Now let's say you don't, you don't have lighting, what do you do? Well, if you're lighting without electrical lights, you want to use light from a window to illuminate the subject, okay? So if you look at the image that we have here, we have our subject here sitting in a chair. We have a gentleman who's shooting some video on his phone, by the way. See, he knows. And um, we have, uh, and he's using like a little lavalier that's a wired lavalier that's connected to his phone. So he's getting some good audio. And then he's using, so he's, he's going real cheap here. Um, so he's using the light from the window to light the subject here. And uh, which is really great. It's probably an overcast day that day, um, so you don't have a lot of really harsh light. It looks like a really soft light, um, which is amazing. And that's kind of what you want. So you know you want to you want the light to basically light your subject. Now uh, you can use a window as a natural lighting source, but you want to avoid shooting uh, with your back against the window or a bright light source. So. If you're shooting outside and the sun is behind the subject, uh -uh, you don't want to do that, okay? You want to change the direction, you know, you want to move the camera so that the sun is lighting the subject, not, you know, otherwise you're going to be dark and the camera's going to expose for the light behind the person or if you adjust the aperture or the settings on your camera so that you know, I'm well lit and you can see me and I'm not too dark, then your background is going to be way overexposed. So you want to avoid shooting with your back against the window or a bright light source. And remember, when we go back to this three-point um, lighting technique, you know, look, this is the main piece of light. All we're doing here is adding just a little bit of backlight to kind of break you up from your background. It's not a strong light. Um, so avoid shooting with your back against the window or a bright light source. Um, and then you also want to avoid high contrast areas. Um, areas that are too dark or areas that are too bright. Um, 
again, that's why I love overcast days because every, you know, you go out sun, it's like it's too bright, you know, you go outside on a sunny day and it's too bright and, you know, you're squinting and, you know, if you're looking like under the trees, you know, the shadows there, uh, under the trees are like real dark and everything, you know, like you don't want that. But if you have a nice overcast day, everything's pretty evenly lit, you know, the lights diffuse a bit and, you know, you can pretty much get a nice, uh, you know, everything's, everything looks good, everything looks a lot better, right? So avoid high contrast areas, you know, if you're shooting outside and it's a bright sunny day, you know, aim for like the shade of a tree or the shade of a building. Um, that's just kind of a tip that I can, I can give you that's, that's pretty effective. Um, and it's going to be easier for your guy too because he's not in the hot sun, you know, melting um, under, that, uh, under the hot sun. So let's talk about editing your video ads. Option one is you can do it yourself. Okay, well here's the thing, you're running your business Maybe, maybe you're at a stage in your business where you have to do everything yourself, okay? Well, if you, if you, if you are, uh, you want to use something like Premiere Pro, Adobe Premiere Pro, I use it, um, our editor use it, she does an amazing job, it's great. If you have a MacBook um, or Mac, and here's the thing, uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, you can use it for both Mac and you can use it for PC, Final Cut Pro is just for Mac. I like Adobe Premiere Pro because more people, think about this, like if you're, if you're working with people like in India and the Philippines, like a lot of those people, you know, they don't have the resources to invest in a Mac, and so they're going to use Adobe Premiere Pro. So if you're willing to leverage some cheap labor in some of these other developing countries, you know, I would I would commit to learning Adobe Premiere Pro because at some point you're not going to want to do this, right? Like Steve Jobs wasn't in the factory all day like building iPhones, right? Like you may have to edit things at first when you're first getting started, but at some point you want to farm it out. So if you kind of get used to Adobe Premiere Pro and you kind of build your workflows around that, then it's going to be easier to farm that out. Option two is to farm it out, right? That's what I prefer to do, or to have an, an employee do that for you. Um, but if you decide not to hire an employee, if you're not doing it at that kind of volume, then you can go to something like Fiverr, which is great because Fiverr has spokespeople. They have everything you need. Um, but there's lots of editors on there as well. You can pay five bucks to five hundred dollars just depending on how good the editor is and you know the experience stuff that they have um, and you know the way Fiverr works is you might pay like five dollars a gig but you know they may say well I'll only edit ten seconds of video for you for five bucks and you have a four minute video so you know do the math it's gonna be more than five dollars five dollars obviously but for like little gigs if you're doing this kind of one-off um, use Fiverr. Fiverr is great for just one-off things um, if you're going to be doing this consistently and you want to hire someone who uh, and you want to get you know give them more work consistently then you might want to look at Upwork. Upwork has thousands of contractors um, that you can choose from from all over the world and there's lots of video editors and motion graphics experts who can uh, create some really good content for you as well. The third option is a company called Speedy Video Ads. Now full disclosure this is a company that I'm involved in um, and we understand that there's a need here that people need ads produced. So if you don't want to mess with anything and you want something done very quickly, all you do is you send Speedy Video Ads a script, you select the spokesperson that you know most uh, re resembles most your, to your avatar, and that's it. We will have them rec record, we'll have the spokespeople record the script, and then we'll edit everything, and the editing is going to be amazing. That's one of the things that we really shine best at is, is our editing capabilities and, and making really good looking videos. And so if you decide to do that and you just want to farm it out, um, Speedy Video Ads is definitely an option. It's so simple, you just go there, you select your spokesperson, you paste in your script, and within seven business days you're getting a fully completed ad. So additional resources. So remember we're talking about B-roll. Where, where can you find B-roll? Well, Storyblocks is a that's like that's a great resource for us. It's very inexpensive. I think it's less than fifty bucks a month, um, but it's a great resource for finding stock music, videos, and images. So this is what Storyblocks looks like. You can search for video clips, thousands of different video clips. Um, if you're using like music beds in your video, um, basically background music. There's lots of different um, audio files that you can use in music beds and you know at different tempos with different styles you know if you're doing like a political kind of ad um, it's kind of got kind of a political angle to it you know there's there's music that sounds more patriotic if you're looking at something lots of different tempos and styles and genres that you can choose from definitely 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 a must have if you're creating a larger volume 
of video content, you definitely want a subscription to this company. Um, and in addition to that, they also got animated backgrounds and After Effects templates. It's, it's a must have. Um, another thing, again, Fiverr. We love Fiverr. Why? Because Fiverr, you can go to Fiverr and there's so many different, if you're looking for a spokesperson, there's so many different people that you can choose from who look like your avatar. Um, we got an African American woman here. We've got, you know, an older white man here. Um, we've got, uh, you know, a, a woman in her 30s here, a man in his 30s with a beard and a suit. You know, there's so many different options to choose from. But then also you can get people to write your scripts. I'm not sure how good they will be, but they're there. Video, animation, music, audio. If you need someone to, you know, custom compose something for you, they can do that as well. Fiverr, great resource.